is now a great pleasure to announce the winner of the 1982 Ivan Memorial Trophy from the University of Georgia, Herschel Walker. That was Herschel Walker winning the Heisman Trophy in 1982. He went on to become a superstar in the NFL, playing for the Dallas Cowboys, New York Giants, Philadelphia Eagles, and Minnesota Vikings. Now Walker's 15-year-old son is picking up the family tradition of outstanding athleticism, but it's in competitive cheerleading. Jan Crawford sat down with a father and son duo who say football and cheerleading have more similarities than you might think. Jan is in Washington right now. Good morning to you, Jan. Well, good morning. So, you know, Walker said at first he was kind of like, what? Cheerleading? Uh, but he quickly came around when he saw what the sport is all about. But not everyone has been so supportive. Hold that! When you see the lifts, Five, the twists, six, seven, and the mind-boggling flips, let's go, let's go, stand up. there's let's no go, question on, these kids are athletes. But that's not what everyone thinks when they hear the word cheerleader. Good. I thought like cheering at a game and he said, no, 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 competitive cheer. And I'm like, what? Like, what is that? Herschel Walker is an NFL legend, but his teenage son, Christian, decided last year that instead of picking up a football, let's go, Christian, let's go. He wanted to fly. Let's go. It feels like you're flying, but then you land and you just want to do it again. And that's what really drew me to cheerleading. You never felt like I'm going to disappoint my dad if I don't follow in his footsteps and play football. No, he's always encouraged me to do what I need to do. So that's what I've done. At first, Walker was baffled. In Dallas, he played on a team with the most famous cheerleaders in the world. Christian was talking about competitive yeah, cheering, go. something oh, entirely oh, different. I don't know what that was. Then he's, oh no, people are turning flips and all this stuff, dance and all this. And uh, I came out to see it. And I saw how athletic the kids were that was doing it. I was shocked. And I was shocked at the amount of people. I was like, geez, I didn't realize it was that big of a sport. And I was proud that he was doing it. And one, two. In recent years, five, competitive six, seven, cheering eight. has exploded in popularity. Last on, year, the American on, Medical straight. Association Good. designated it on, a sport. Guys. Hold it, hold it. Good, y'all, hold it. Come it on, takes it strength, up. flexibility, focus, and above Two, all, three. teamwork. Five, in other words, seven, a lot five, like football. Three. But the NCAA so far is refusing to call it a sport, and the stigma about boys in cheerleading persists. In the last three years, three teenage boys have committed suicide after being bullied for cheering. Well, when everyone first found out about me cheerleading or like my dad's fans, they were really critical. What did they say? Well, just like the derogatory comments about just even my appearance and like, it just seemed like they had a stereotype about cheer, that it was just for females. What was that like for you? It was almost shocking because all my friends are so supportive. That is your son. I mean, wh right. what did you feel when you saw that? Oh, no, I, I, you know, I, I feel angry, but you know, I let it go. <clears throat> because well, like I said, people say that about well, a you kid. Know, so funny that, yeah, but, but this was so funny. You have immature people saying that. People that do not have a clue. So I'm not going to put them down because if I put them down, I become a bully. It's hard to believe when you see him, but as a child, Walker also was bullied. Yeah, I had a speech impediment. Yeah, I used to stutter so bad I was overweight. That drove him to sports to change himself, and he says gave him freedom to try unconventional things like ballet while tuning out the critics, lessons he's teaching Christian. So my thing is, if they don't understand and they don't know, let them say what they want to say, but he's got to believe what he believes and what he knows from his mom and I. Christian's mother, Cindy Grossman, like Walker, ran track at the University of Georgia. And Christian runs track on his high school team. Did you guys try to encourage him to do football or run track? I never, maybe a little encouragement on the track part, but football was just out of the question. He just wasn't interested? No. Do you ever think he will be? No. Come on! Go, 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 go. I watched the way he moved, and even though I was a running back, I said, he can be a heck of a quarterback or a receiver. If I watch him do certain things, I watch him throw, and I know he can do that. And I said, man, if I can take him and did do it, but I said, that's not what he wants. Do you ever feel just, is there, I mean, do you ever feel like kind of sad no, about that? No, no, I don't, because uh, I love him so much that if he never played football, I'm gonna love him as much as I love him now. 
And Walker says the key is just supporting your child. Uh, he and Christian's mom, they go to all these cheering competitions. And in fact, they were in Orlando this weekend for the summit. That's the junior co ed national championship. And Christian's team won first place. Wow. 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 That's, That's a nice day. day. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. A great piece. I mean, it's really yeah. a, a lesson in parenting, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. A really nice lesson in parenting. And, yeah. And, uh, Go Christian, and I'm glad to see Competitive yeah. Cheer getting the recognition it deserves, Absolutely. and Christian is helping them yeah. do that as well. There's no yeah. question that he's an athlete, but what I love is how his father's standing up for him, saying those are immature people, and I'm not going down to their Boy, But his right. father's right. He really could have been a great half-back. <laughs>